Mm, tacos or sushi? Tacos or sushi? We'll figure it out. We'll vote. Ready? Come on. One, two, three. Go! Whoop. Grab. Hey, y'all. So, I am done parenting for the day. I'm done. That's it. Um, she got enough out of me. I'm now going to meet a friend. I was about to choose staying inside and being annoyed. I'm in a bad mood, kind of. But I'm about to go meet a friend, Jess. Um, and we're just going to go have, like, a drink and, like, a, like something quick for lunch. <sighs> Kid-free, which we both haven't done in a really long time. So it'll be, it'll be fun. Um, I can't decide if I want sushi or tacos yet, so we'll see. We'll see. Mm, y'all some decisions were made not Shirash and me not when you see this girl don't don't rush me it's okay just remind me if we have an apocalypse just get my glasses bring them with me because I'll leave you behind so quick. <laughs> mm -mm. like bitch get your glasses Oh yeah, no. So we were just listening to Fourth Baby Mama. It's the only song that we related to in that album. Not because we are somebody's fourth baby mom, but because um, like it's the chorus. The chorus really hit. I love it. Right. Why would you do all that just to be selling dreams? Wasting time. You was just talking. Yes, I want to start with your mama. She should have. She raised you right, but she got her own problems. We get it. Do we get it though? No, because if my son ever, I and he could never, and he could never, like I just could not imagine being okay with my child mistreating anybody, let alone, let alone a, woman, a woman, let alone a woman who gave birth to his child, your grandchild. It's giving complacent mom to ain't shit son, son pipeline yes and i'm taking this to the supreme court i always say like men should be held accountable for if you can prove that a man intentionally had a child with you and was lying to you at the time that you conceived that child and throughout that pregnancy you should be able to take him to court for that. Like, you should be able to this is what hold he him said, accountable. And this is what I received. Forgiveness to some people means allowing them back into your space. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I won't allow that back into my space. Yeah. And it's just harder, too, you know, in dealing with, like, we're both dealing with ex-partners who are clearly, like, NPD, you know? And so... The number one advice for that is zero contact, zero contact, zero contact, but it's like we share human life. I feel like I didn't exist. Mm -hmm. But the moment I started doing it back, yeah. Doing yeah. it back or what do you, what do you continuing mean, you know? to live my life without the dependency on him, that's when it was, oh, you're withholding your child from my child from me or 
you won't co-parent with me or you won't do this with me and it's like I'm still allowed to have my own life that doesn't include you no you're not though you know yeah you're not and I know that's what mine was trying to do like you use it's like they'll tell you you're using your child but really it's like you are and that's why I don't do anything that includes both of us. The only sad part is it does hurt my children because they have parents who can't be in the same space together. But I'm not going to dig, a, continue to dig a grave for myself mm -hmm. to try to give them an experience that he decided with his actions that they weren't going to have. Ma'am. And that's big. Like, that's not, it could suck, but that wasn't your fault. Mm hmm and thank God we know about therapy for you know what I mean for us and for our kids mm -hmm. like whatever you, I'm not able to give you like I'm gonna try my very best to not beat myself up for it because I held up my end of the bargain yeah. I, I, I can only be a mom why do I need a nap it's Sunday but I'm not gonna take like you go you want a nap you want a nap do you want to take a nap well, we can take a nap that's whack <laughs> like how <laughs> fucking old are we <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It is November 8th, Monday, and I am about to go drop this little one off at school, and then I have to get to it today, guys. Today is day one of the rest of my life. I mean it. Like, things are starting up today in a whole different way. It's like head down. I have to really get things in order, um, and I say that. Without saying too much, over the weekend, I decided to go zero contact. So we are at zero contact now. Um, it's just the best move. It's the best move. I just have to move accordingly and I have to let people suffer the consequences of their actions. No empathy. I gotta worry about me. I gotta worry about this one. <laughs> And that's it. That's all I can handle. That's all I'm um, supposed to handle. So I am going to drop her off. As soon as I drop her off, I'm not even like playing around coming back home and doing anything. I'm going straight to the cafe. I'm just gonna go to Starbucks and just getting to it. So I have like a lot of um, deliverables today. Uh, I made a checklist so I would stay on, on task. So I'm not like trying to handle 50 things at once, but this is day one of the rest of my life. And remember what I said in our chit chat video, right? Like by December, we're gonna have one partnership deal. So let's get to it. Have a great day. getting I already dropped Cadence off and I realized that yesterday I was a little bit brief a little bit unclear so I'm here to just like chit chat super quick so yesterday I mentioned that 
that was yesterday i mentioned that i have gone zero contact so what i meant by that is i have chosen to really really put boundaries in place and stick to them um you guys know i've been working on that that's really been my jam lately um and it's just been like i said difficult because i feel like when you are dealing with um someone who is like npd or any form of narcissism like the best contact is zero contact like it's just the only way because again people who operate like that they're not real like they're not the reality that you're in is not the reality that they're in so they'll say anything yeah it's always recommended to just no contact but like how am i gonna do that when we share a kid it's just really been like difficult always like setting a boundary and then having to like set it back a little bit because i'm always like trying to make sure i'm not like messing my kid up like what am i doing like you know but it's like again why is that on me why is that burden on me you know this unfair so i decided well i didn't decide out of nowhere like some things were done and so it just really forced me to do what i had to do you know and then this time just like really like stick to it because i feel like what is going to mess up my child is if i'm being like pulled back into a place that i'm like so so ready to never revisit again right like so ready to be gone from um and so that's what it is it's that's what i meant by zero contact um i just think it's like the healthiest thing uh and you know it is what it is i'm just so i'm ready to just be talking about different things like I just refuse to be taken back to a place that I'm like, just, I don't even fit there anymore. Like, it's just not me. So yeah, like, I mean, like, just like watch who you have kids with. Speaking of like, just wanting new for myself in this journey of healing, like, I don't want to just be like only about healing. I want to like live it too. You know what I mean? So I think that it's do it's overdue that I like go out, dress up, go out tomorrow cadence has her very first sleepover so i think i'm going to take advantage of that and like take myself to dinner i haven't been without her um in this apartment ever since i like moved to charlotte um so i'm going to just really really like trust that everything will be fine right it's only one night everything will be okay and i'm going to take myself out to dinner so i think i'm going to plan that tomorrow no, i actually have a package which has the things I want, I think I'm gonna wear. Um, it's like, it's two outfits. So um, a company sent me them to actually feature on my Instagram. So actually I'm gonna go get them and I'll be back. Got it. Got it. Oh, cute, I didn't see. I just rub that all over my face. I don't know where that's been. So 99 problems, but my outfit ain't one. Clever. Okay, so the outfits are actually from, oh man, this poor box took a beating, came a long way. These are actually from Meshki. Um, they hit me up on Instagram. They like your girl's reels. And they wanted to send me over some pieces and I got to choose, like, I think I just, I only chose two. I only chose two pieces. I actually did not, like, I've never heard of them before they hit me up. Um, but it seems like all the girls were hip and no one told me about them. So, hmm, I need more friends. But, let's see. So I chose these two pieces. This is cute. I really like this box. It's just so sad. It kind of like broke at the top. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to rip it like that. So the first piece. Says, Dear Stephanie, we're so excited to see you in your new Meshki Fits. Hope you love the pieces as much as we do. So cute. So cute, zoom. There it is, so cute. So pretty, okay, so the first outfit is, like I ordered this so long ago, I actually forgot what I ordered. So the first one is these pants. They're, it's like a, a pink pantsuit. Like, I'll tell you what, this material. Good shit. Hold on. Let me see the top. 
a little bit more structured than I thought it would be. Like, look at the back. Definitely a little bit more structured. I wonder if it's going to give two business a little too also could wear to church. Time. What? Like it was hard? So my color and it's like goes really well with my hair accident. I'm really like, uh it it's a little tight, but it's not like I have a man to hug. Here's the next outfit. So it's the it's like it's giving like a pajama set. So this is a brown pant. It's a little bit hmm, it's a little bit sheer. Cause you know the girl your girl is short i'm five three how tall are you five three and so sometimes pants are just like annoying at the bottom at the ankle because apparently we're all supposed to be born five six. and then this is the top i really like this material um pleated satin shirt so it's a satin material it's really nice i like the pattern on this you guys see that? This is really cute. I really like this pattern. So I might do this. I already know the heel I would definitely wear with this. And they sent your girl a bonus look. Ooh! It's a backlist number. So cute of them to send me a small, like, baby. I'm a mommy. I'm a mother. I'm a bitch who eats. Where is this? I've got three choices for my date night tomorrow so that I've got, I gotta pick a place that I'm gonna go and see if I need to make reservations. I'm gonna take um, a minute to just like eat breakfast and then I am getting to work today. So today I'm gonna restructure my TikTok because that's really for the young cats, the girls. I, it is a different world. It's, it's, it's not Instagram. I also am set I set three pitch letters out yesterday. Today my I am it's another goal to send three more. One thing about it, hunting down those emails is a full-time job. Also going to actually apply for like a real job. That's what's happening today, guys. So like enjoy your day. See you later. Hi, um can I just have a um a tall um Mocha latte, oat milk, please. Oat milk? Yes. You want whip or no whip? Whip cream, please. Whip, whip? Yes. Is that hot or ice? Hot, please. Oh, sorry. That's it. Oh, uh, actually, can I just have the, the spinach for the egg white? Yeah. Oh, please, thank you. Can I turn around? Yeah. Ready for your scan? Thank you. Okay. Would you like your receipt? No, thank you. Oh, it looks like it needs 750. Balance? Okay. You want to reload or you I'm just going to um, okay. put my car. Thank you. What's that? Taco. Oh yeah, Taco Tuesday. Show. Me. Okay, I'm gonna show my. I got a burrito though, not a taco. I got. I got taco. Yours is this tacos, yeah. I got soda. I got soda. I got soda. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good time. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I cheers and I didn't drink. I'm sorry. Cheers. cheers. Good job. Thank you. What? <laughs> yeah, I should buy that for you, but you're supposed to eat your food first. Was that weird? Was that creepy? Was that too much? Okay, sorry. I don't know. I'm feeling really good. 
I'm feeling really good. It might, could be that I took a three and a half hour nap. It might, could be that I have a break from being a mummy for a day and a half. It is 4.17. Remember guys, today I'm going to um, take myself out on that date. A little something, you know, put a little something on. Hit the streets. I'm going to clean up first. My house looks a mess. I'm just thinking how like my mom, I don't know if this is a Caribbean thing. I don't know. But like, you know, you got to always make sure your, your house is clean or to a certain standard. Because like, what if something tragic is happening to you a heart attack or something whatever and you call 911 and they have to come to your house like how embarrassing think about it bitch i'm dying why are you looking at my closet or my floors you know what i'm saying but whatever but i'm gonna clean i'm gonna clean some more because i literally have to clean every room in this house and then i think i'm actually going to film a get ready with me um while I dress, like while I get dressed for tonight. But don't worry, I'm gonna give you guys a little look, see at what outfit I'm wearing. Um, I made, I didn't make reservations. I tried to make reservations at this place called Fahrenheit. It's in Uptown Charlotte. Um, uh, it's cute, it's giving rooftop. So we'll see, hopefully there's some men's. Yeah, no. Skin on fleek. Mm. I need a haircut, but okay. Let me not waste any more time. I'm trying to be out of here by like 8.30. Yeah, 8.30. So it's 4.20 now. Let me get to cleaning and I'll see you guys tonight. Work. We both know that it won't work. We both know that it won't work.